I'm Army Vet, and welcome to Galahad 3093. This is a 32 player PvP based mech warrior game. There are four classes of lances, those are the mechs. There's light, medium, heavy, and super heavy. We also have pilots that give special abilities that are based in the Arthurian legend. This video is going to cover the light lances. And since this game is in beta, we're not going to cover any specifics because, as you know, in betas everything changes, so there's no point. But this is going to give you a basic rundown of what's available right now for upgrades to the lances. It's also going to cover the paint jobs, the color schemes, the nose art, and all the fun stuff to customize your, your mech. Remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and leave a comment because this does help the channel grow. Enjoy the video. First up is the Jaguar. Tier 4 weapons upgrades across the board, geared towards mobility. In the stock configuration, the shield gen takes about 7 seconds out of combat to recharge, with a 6.5 second delay, so roughly 14 seconds from the time you break contact to get a full shield regen. The Nova has Tier 5 primary weapon, offensive, defensive, and mobility upgrades. No change anything else from the Jaguar. The Zephyr has a 2 meter per second increase in movement speed. Key upgrades are Tier 5 for the secondary weapons, mobility, and sensors. Talos. Tier 5 upgrades and everything except universal slots. This is my personal favorite one. It comes with a 22 second skim fuel recharge and a 500 point jump in armor and shields. The Comet has a 19 second skim fuel recharge. Tier 5 mobility upgrade. Speed is your friend with this one because it takes 16 and a half seconds for a full shield recharge. The Blaze comes with 5,000 points in armor, 13 second full shield recharge, 800 skim fuel tank, and a 27 second recharge from empty. Tier 5 offensive and defensive slot upgrades. Cyclone is a hit and run machine. Tier 5 upgrades and primary weapons. Base armor of 6,000 and shields of 4,000. 13 second full recharge, 18 meters per second walk speed, and a 22 second skim refuel. Umber has a small buff in speed and shield regen over the Jaguar, but doesn't have the upgrades. 12 seconds for a full recharge for the shields, tier 5 upgrades and deployables and mobility. The Radiance has 4k shields and armor, 650 skim fuel tank and a 14 second full shield recharge, tier 5 upgrades and utilities only. Each mech has 4 different loadouts available, so you can set up your loadouts to fit whatever gameplay is going on at the time. This next part is going to cover customizing your mech's look. The mech has three areas that can be colored, a primary, secondary, and the body, and you have about 57 colors to choose from. Full body paint jobs take up a solid body color slot. It range from animal skins and quilts to camels and psychedelics, there's something for everyone. You can also choose the scale of your paint pattern, tight, which is small pattern, normal, and loose, which is wide.
Nose art is different for all four mech classes. Light Lances have 14 different nose art types, and a couple of them have different colors to choose from. You can set up four different loadouts to fit your needs, current battle type you are playing. There you have it, the basics of light lances for Galahad 3093. Hope you have a great day.